been around since the beginning of time. With dates going back as far as 300 BC, we have written documents of ancient Egyptians describing mummies of having bone disfigurations that we know now as osteosarcomas. We know cancer is not a new disease. We know it is not just caused from our modern day diets and technologies. Hippocrates is considered the father of medicine. He is credited with the origin of the word cancer. Hippocrates had his own theory of where cancer originated. One of his theories was the humoral theory. The humoral theory. In this theory, there are four body fluids. Blood, phlegm, yellow bile, and black bile. Ideally, all four of these fluids should work in harmony. In the theory, if the person had an excess of black bile, then that patient would be diagnosed with cancer. In the 17th century, the lymph theory was the idea that of all of the fluids, the lymph and the blood were the most important. John Hunter was the Scottish surgeon at that time who strongly supported this theory. Hunter said that if the tumor had not yet spread to the surrounding tissues, the tumor was harmless and saw no need in removing it. Because the doctors had access to anesthesia, they were able to perform riskier surgeries on patients to remove their cancer. But oftentimes, by removing the tumors from the patients, it left the patient disfigured and left them with serious illnesses. Just removing the tumor did not always cure the patient of their cancer. The 19th century was a revolutionary time in scientific oncology. This is because of the invention of the modern microscope. Because the doctors had access to these modern microscopes, they were better able to examine the diseased tissues to make sure after the surgery if they got all of the tumor. Scientists have learned over the last couple decades more about cancer than in all other centuries. We still do not know everything that we can about cancer, but we still continue to learn and make medical advancements every day in hopes to find a cure. Immunotherapy is one way that we fight cancer in the 21st century. Immunotherapy is a treatment to stimulate an immune response to help the body fight cancer. Other ways that we fight cancer and screen for cancer today are radiation, chemotherapy, advanced surgical techniques, genetic screening, and earlier detection. But is more frequent screening always a good thing? Well, yes, they are able to detect cancer sooner, but a lot of times we're using x-rays to scan, which exposes our bodies to radiation, which we know causes cancer. <laughs>